Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am here to talk about my goals for 2023. And in this video, I'm not only going to be talking about my reading, writing, and like channel goals, but give you a little glimpse at some of my personal life goals as well. If you are somebody who likes to take a word and that word is going to be like the theme of your next year, my my word this year is simplify. If you have watched the replay of Margaret Bernard's goals chat, you'll you would have heard me talk about looking not only at my schedule and my desires of things I wanted to accomplish to set my goals this year. One of the things my husband has told me is he's planning to run for office. This is not the first time that he's done this, so we know exactly how much work it's going to take, especially because he is the type of person who is going to knock doors and go out and talk to people. And as his wife, I go knock doors with them, and I go with them to meetings to show my support for him. So hence, I am not planning to make any big plans that there's no way I can accomplish, at least not for the first part of the year. The other thing that has me cautious on making lots of heavy plans is my husband and I have been working towards adoption of a teenager. And if everything went well in our last meeting, then hopefully we will be get to begin talking to the teenager. And after a period of time, we're hoping the teenager would then move in with us. Uh, for our state, they have to live with us at least six months before we can initiate an adoption in the courts. So I'm planning to add another member of my family to my household this year. This year is simplify for my goals. I'm not trying to get into anything big or crazy. I'm a part of some things already, and I do have my time managed to finish that, but otherwise, I'm not going to overload myself. And if I start to overload myself, I might have to back out of some things. But I have set my goals to not overload myself. So currently in my personal life, I use, for my life goals, I have like four boards. I'll include a picture here so you can see them. I think they're pretty. I did a lot of fun work and I just use post-it notes to put my goals on them so then I can easily take them off. And the color, the colors go towards a certain category. So just briefly, you know, for my life goals, uh, my categories are spiritual, physical, intellectual, and social. And I'm not going to share too much with the spiritual and physical goals because they don't really relate to the channel, but my intellectual and social goals have some items that do relate. Now for my channel, I decided to go the same path and to create four categories and focus on that. And then I realized as I was doing that, that I could only come up with three categories for my channel, but I had a fourth spot, so I just added something fun. So. The four further categories I have created are reading, writing, YouTube, or my channel, and then crafting, because I do like to make things. If you see here, you're going to see there's something listed under each one. That is going to be my focus for each of those categories. And then as I am doing well with those, I do have other goals that can shift up, if that makes sense. So what that means is I really have four goals per category, but one goal is my focus. And as long as I accomplish that one goal, I am doing everything that I am desiring to. But I do like making goals, so I am going to break it down further for you. So going into my reading goals, what you would have seen on the first chart is read four books a month. 
and I'm still using a loose term of four books for that. The books in this instance can be novels, novellas, novelettes, short stories, graphic novel, graphic novels, manga, whatever I've, you can read or listen to. I think I'm going to be trying some more audiobooks this year as well. I still want to read one new release a month. This year I have done more than that and I'm very happy with it, but I think as a overall goal, one, re one new release a month is still pretty good to shoot for. I also want to read one nonfiction a quarter, and I guess that should be more Finnish, one nonfiction read a quarter, because I'm just slower when I read nonfiction. It typically takes me about three months if I'm actively trying to read some every day. I don't know why my brain just does, just that's how my brain works. And I do really want to continue lowering my Goodreads currently reading list. So I still am planning to do a stats portion for like each month where I go over like how many books I've read, how many are new releases, similar, like what I've been doing now. And so I'm still going to be keeping track of all those numbers, but the real number I'm going to be focusing on is lowering my Goodreads currently reading list trying to get better about reading the books that I am taking out from the library instead of having to put them on the Goodreads reading list as a reminder to pick them up again and finish them. And this is a year that I want to focus more on my writing. I've had some employment changes and I think that's going to make it easier for me to write. Basically my part-time job, they change the hours and it means that probably I'm not going to do any nighttime work just Saturdays, and that's okay. It's a new adventure. It kind of lines up with the plans to knock doors, and if I have a teenager move in, I the plan was for me to stop my part-time job anyway. So for my writing goals, I would like to write at least 10 minutes a day. I find that by having a small chunk of time that I am planning to write, it's a lot easier for me to get in the groove of writing. And then what I typically do is I will set a longer time to write and then tell myself that I only have to write for 10 minutes. If I'm not feeling it after that, that's when I can go do film editing or something or do something else creative. But if I am, then I have more time to just continue. As you would have seen on my category page, my main focus is going to be make a monthly writing plan. So far I've just been writing whatever I feel like writing when I sit down for those 10 minutes and I would like to be more focused on what I'm writing, have a goal. For example, my monthly writing plan for January is going to be to pick up and continue where I left off on my nano novel and finish that character's POV scenes. So it's not something like big or detailed. It's just to help me know what I'm pick, planning to pick up to write. I would also like to write a short story a month. It is a medium that I find actually pretty difficult. Every time I sit down to write a short story, and I do actually find I'm an outliner with a short story, because if I sit down to be a pantser, then it goes longer than a short story. So with a short story, I find I have to plan that out so that I can hit my marks and then be like, okay, this is the short story, it's done. So it's something that I would like to get better at. And I'm also interested in starting a newsletter. I subscribe to many different writing newsletters and they're fun and I like to get to see behind the scenes. I guess I'd like to see if people would be interested in seeing behind my scenes. This isn't something that I am planning to start right away. You're going to see on a, another goal sheet that I'm going to have to learn more about this, learn how to do this sort of thing. I have ideas for what to include, but there will be more work. So for my channel goals, I have for YouTube that I would like to upload two videos a week and watching my goals from last year. My goal is three and I was doing all right for the beginning and then seasonal depression hit 
and so I'm planning for that seasonal depression. So what I found is if I can bulk film, then that's a lot easier because then I can just edit during the week. And if I bulk film a lot, then I have extra videos that are, just need to be edited. So if there's a week that I'm like, and I'm just not feeling extra videos, I will have things in reserve. So that's kind of my plan of how to accomplish that. One of those videos is still going to be my weekly wrap up. I have been enjoying that and getting to focus more on the things I'm currently reading. My pro my writing progress as it's gone up and down and then other media, so things that I've been watching or consuming otherwise. So currently I only do solo reviews for uh, new releases or I've been doing solo reviews for the, uh, the books that I'm reading for the self-published science fiction contest. I'd like to start doing a solo review for my favorite read of the month. Just because not everything I read is a new release and I think older books should be highlighted as well. And so I'd like to start doing that. And lastly, I am interested in doing productivity sprints once a month. And I am hopefully going to be doing this with my sister. She's already said yes, but it's just figuring out the time slot. She lives in Japan, so it will probably be a Friday night or a Saturday night because then that would make it her and that's for the U.S. because that would make it her Saturday morning or Sunday morning. But she's currently finishing up a master's program, so I don't know if we're going to hit January or not. But we'll see. We'll figure it out. But she's one of my favorite writing buddies, and so I'm excited that she she's willing to get on a live and be introduced to my YouTube friends. You'll love her. She's amazing. So I look forward to doing that. So the last category that is underneath YouTube is crafting. And this is something that I just like to do. As you would have seen, it's like my first goal is to finish uh, my world map cross stitch. And this is what I've been working on for a few years now. And I, you, as you can see, I'm at the lining portion. So this is really nice to do like while I'm watching TV or listening to a podcast or even listening to YouTube videos. And then I have a, another cross stitch that I have started. It's actually supposed to be, it was supposed to have been a wedding present for my cousin and his wife. They got married in 2019, so I am behind. There's some other sewing projects, uh, jean skirts, and there's a plaid shirt that I have the fabric. I have the pattern. I have everything ready to go. I just haven't done anything yet. So there are things that I would like to do craft-wise. Now for the two life goal sections that I'm going to talk about, that is because they still kind of intersect with my channel. And that would be for like the intellectual. I don't have the book in here. What you would have seen is make, make each recipe in the Paul Hollywood book. That is his how to bake book. And I've been working on that for a while. I'm still in the bread section though. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. Cooking is not my forte. I like baking because I can get everything together and then you put it in the oven and then I can walk away and relax. So I've always felt more akin to the baking side of things. And I like the great British baking show and seeing the creativity. So I was gifted this book and I'm just slowly working through it. And then this is where this category intersects. Um, I want to learn about the self-publishing process. I know that I follow several self-published authors and it is something that I've been leaning to more as I'm getting older. Just having that control and getting to decide, getting to make more of the decisions. I like that idea. I, I like being able to decide how things go and just learning more about it and like the process it, it's not as scary as I once thought it was I also want to attend the author tube writers conference in 2023 it's in June I believe I'll put the dates down below the exact dates because they have been announced I went to the first one last summer and 
it was so much fun. It was amazing. There's still panels that I want to go back and rewatch just because I learned so much. So I'm excited for that to come up in June. And then learn about newsletters. So again, this is where I want to learn about the process and get, you know, figure out how I want to set everything up before I actually get started. And the last category I'm going to share with you is my social. Now, when I approached this one, I realized I am not a huge social person. Yes, I'm doing this channel, but I don't actively typically search out social interactions. I don't know why. Um, so like for my first one, I've been working on a project for a while of writing every cousin, aunt, and uncle a letter. And that is a real physical letter that gets mailed to them. Because I think getting real mail means more than getting an email. Email is great, especially if you're trying to get a hold of somebody quickly. But I think your real physical letter, it has a different weight when you receive that. So one of my social goals, like I said, my part-time job schedule is changing is to participate in more live stream chats so that because I won't be working as often in the evening I now I'm gonna have the opportunity to be on YouTube in the evening more often I have a goal of once a quarter to do something with a sister from my church just because I I'm again I'm not super social and I put it as once a quarter because I know I'm about to go into my seasonal depression time, which will make me more of a hobbit, or no, make me more, which will make me more of a hermit. And for last, I have joined a community committee. My husband is very active in politics, and I have realized that things don't get done unless you act, unless you are part of the solution. And by joining a community committee, then I would get to have a say on decisions that are coming before it. Uh, those committees are set up so that community members can talk about projects before they go to the city commission or the county commission. I think it would be fun to join one and learn more about how things work in the city because I know from knocking doors, the majority of citizens don't know how their local government works. And I don't want to continue perpetuating that in my own life. It does help that my husband likes politics, so he talks about a lot of things, so I'm probably more well-informed than a lot of other people, but I still don't know everything. That is my 2020 three goals. Like I said, I'm really actually just, I have eight goals that are my focuses. And then if I complete one, there's other ones underneath them that can move up, but I'm not going to beat myself up if I don't finish things the way I want to, because this is a year of simplify, because it's not going to be all about me. There are other people's lives that I'm interacting with quite heavily and I want to make sure I'm there and present for them. For those of you who make videos, I look forward to watching your videos about your 2023 goals. And for those of you who don't make any videos, please let me know down below what are some of your goals for this next year. I would love to hear about it. Thank you and have a great day.